In this video, I want to show you a very rare compressor wheel upgrade option for the Evo 10 and the Evo 3 and Evo 1 through 3 in the DSM and a few different other models like the Han Racecraft. So this is an EF1 compressor wheel. This is a compressor wheel that MA Performance had offered when they used to build these turbos and I was fortunate enough to purchase their CNC machine which already has all the programs on it so I can machine these covers. The EF1 compressor wheel is a 5 plus 5 blade compressor wheel so the advantage of having less blades is that it can outflow a compressor wheel with more blades at higher boost levels but the disadvantage is that a compressor wheel can be more efficient to grab air at lower boost levels with more blades. The EF1 compressor wheel measures 50.5 by 69 millimeter and the 20G compressor wheel measures 52.6 by 68 millimeter which tapers to 71 millimeter. The EF1 compressor wheel does also taper but I don't have those measurements offhand. I very commonly use the 20G compressor wheel in a lot of my builds the reason why is because it just about maxes out the TDO5H turbine and you can also put in a 9 blade TDO5H turbine to get it to peak just a little bit more. The 20G compressor wheel can flow up to 450 horsepower worth depending on which turbine wheel you use. Now with this EF1 I think the concept that they had behind using this wheel is to max out the compressor side without outflowing the factory TGO 5H 12 blade turbine. Because of the larger compressor wheel, the rotating assembly is heavier, which means that it does have more stress on the thrust bearing. So it is pretty important to have the stronger thrust bearing kit like we sell. With the factory rebuild kit and the larger compressor wheel, usually the thrust bearing would fail almost immediately because it didn't have enough support for a larger compressor wheel at above 25 psi so just keep that in mind if you do a turbo build like this you really do need to have the upgraded thrust bearing if you plan to run more than 25 psi tell me your thoughts on what you guys think of this turbo the main reason why i wanted to post this build in the first place is just because the rareness of this turbo and maybe some of you have never even heard of it before